<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another thrifting haul. Uh, I've been out and about. Hi guys, welcome to another thrifting haul. Not paintings this time, but uh, treasures from uh, junk shops, charity shops, auctions, blah blah blah. So. Without further ado, let's get on with it. I've got a lot to do this afternoon. Now, I'll show you one item that I got just the other day. It's quite a pretty large item. So, you've probably seen these before. I sell quite a few of these. It's a vintage antique candlestick holder. A large one, as I said, it's like gold plated, so. It's different for the other ones. The other ones were silver, silver plated, but this is silver plated with uh, gold gilding on it. So that one will sell. That's uh, a great one. Great item for any interior design people out there. Uh, I sold one of these and it went away to France uh, just recently, just uh, about maybe a month, a month and a half ago or something like that. Maybe maybe just a month. But uh, this one's this one will sell sell probably before Christmas or whatever, so I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> anyway, that's the first item. Get that out the road. I hope you like my setting. I've just left the, the mural up in the background there. <laughs> just for a bit of show. Anyway, let's get on with the next one. The next one I got the past few days as well. It's a nice a small claret jug, silver plated top. I've had quite a few of these before as well, and these sell good as well. So that one's going up in my baby shop this afternoon. And in fact, I think it's up. I think this one's up since I got it a couple of days ago. Nice top in it as well. Great for a table set. And if you're looking to create that old Victoriana look on your uh, dining room table, and you just picture that with a nice red claret or a nice rosy inside there. The glass will colour up. And the glass is blown. It's blown glass. The way you can tell is the small dimples and that on the, the glass, as you can see. So that's been blown by a glass blower. So let's get on with the next one. I love doing these. And it also advertises and gives me PR for my eBay shop so and as I said before if you fancy any of these items the the link is below in the description box I just just this camera a little bit that's better it seems as I said before I've got it on my drinks trolley so sometimes it'll move or think about it because the trolley's on wheels know what I mean so I've got to keep adjusting it but anyway let's get on with it now the next one I'm a keen fisherman so this one caught my eye this is a brass salmon sculpture this is a really good one I really like this one myself like but it's up on eBay it's up on sale for I think I've got it off for about 49.99 which is cheap for this kind of thing this is a heavy heavy brass the brass itself would probably cost a lot more than 50 quid know what I mean so Anyway, that's up in my EV shop for all you fishermen out there. And I don't think you'll ever see another one like it soon. Really nice. This would set off a nice dining room table as well, or a sideboard, or a mantelpiece. Or even a, dis a display cabinet, you know what I mean? This is, these are well sought after, so that's one of my cherished, cherished, eh, uh, my can't get the words out. My cherry. As I said, this is one of one of the ones I cherish the most from my uh, thrifting hall. Next, a vinaigrette set. Now these are quite these are getting quite popular now, and this one is all made of glass. As you can see, there's the vinaigrette there, the salt and pepper dish. Uh, I need to get that we clean, it's a bit dusty there, but not to mind. But you can imagine what that's going to look like on a nice kitchen table with a tablecloth on it. It doesn't even have to have a tablecloth. A nice wooden uh, topped uh, kitchen table. 
there you are, look at that. Isn't that lovely? I would I'd fancy that for myself as well, but if I was to keep everything, <laughs> I wouldn't have any room for anything else. And I've got loads of stuff anyway, so that's up in my, my eBay shop. I think that's going for... You know, don't quote me on this. I mean, you can have a look at the shop, but just at the top of mine, I think I've got that up for either 9 99 the dearest will be 12 you know what I mean? So, next, another bit of silver plate, get the silver plate out of the road. Another uh, candelabra, a uh, candlestick holder. These, as you know, I sell a lot of these, so I was chuffed, I was over the moon when I found this, because these are these are really getting hard to come by now. But there's another one, that would look lovely on a nice uh, table. Or a sideboard, nice red candles which I've got displayed in my eBay shop. That's another one from my thrifting haul. I had a great time the other day. Sometimes when you go in a thrifting haul, you find nothing, you find dribs and drabs, you know what I mean? So that one there, this one I had, this was over a couple of days that I went hunting. And it seems to be that everybody was either throwing stuff out or getting rid of stuff because the charity shops and the junk shops were, were full of stuff. I never even had time to, to go and look for my books. I'd run out of time, I'd run out of arms and uh, I'd run out of bags. So anyway, it's all the better for you guys. Next one. I've got them on the floor here because of, there's that much stuff that I had got. I didn't know, I could have put it on that table there, but setting up back up and whatever, know what I mean, so, but maybe the next time. Anyway, this is another one that I get quite a lot of, and I sell quite a lot of, uh, table mats. And this is quite a good name, the Pimpernel is a good name. These are heavy. In the past, I paid, I paid the ultimate price, uh, I forgot about the weight for postage. And I had a whole set, the big large ones, and there was over two kilograms and, no, I'd tell you, about one and a half kilograms it was. It may have been two kilograms. It's in my mind anyway, two kilograms, but uh, the postage outweighed <laughs> with the cost of the stuff, and that was, a, that was a, a lethal mistake I made. So, you guys out there, if you're in the eBay uh, business, you could, I, well, I probably didn't, don't have to tell you this, but you have to watch the postage costs or you'll be done. Anyway, this is an, a, a table coster set and it's all of exotic birds. Put that down there, sorry. <laughs> I think they're all the same one. The ones that I normally get are all different. These are all the same, same uh, pattern, but they're still nice. Cork background on the back. So these are both. Everybody's always looking for table mats. But these are gonna have to come by as well. That's another one for the haul. Another one that I never normally pick up, but I picked up this one because it just it just caught my eye. It was a gold goblet. I think it was because of the Tudor style, me doing doing the Tudor paintings. <laughs> a nice uh, gilded gobbler with a nice pattern on, on it as you can see lovely pattern there's, a, there's a, a bit in the middle there a plaque for you to put your, your initials or your signature on it you know what I mean so that that's need a nice wee shine as well once I shine that up that'll come up glint like gold so that's another Goblet for the collection. A bonbon dish. These don't go wrong. Everybody's always looking for a nice bonbon dish for the table. It sets it off. You can just imagine a nice colourful bonbons in there. So, a little bonbon dish. Another thing that I've talked to you about silver trays. Can I get enough of these? And as I said to you before, I was lucky to get this one because they're hard to come by. You know, I think the stock's drying up. <laughs> so that's another tray to add to the collection. I think I'm just about out of trays. There maybe have a bit 
three or four left. Uh, so if you're looking for a tray and you're looking for them reasonably priced, you better hurry up because they go like hotcakes. In my EB shop, as it says, <laughs> blah blah. Yeah, guys, I've been back out, certainly back out. I seen a, I seen a few more things that I couldn't pick up at the time. I didn't have the, I didn't have the arms for it for, for a start. My arms <laughs> were all taken up with all this stuff, uh, but I didn't have the finances as well at the time. So I'm going back up to same same places and I'm gonna try and get in a few things. I hope they're still there like they might be because they're really kinda of expensive, you know what I mean? So anyway. Now I haven't showed you any of these for a while and I have been selling quite a few. So the handbags, ladies handbags. I've been getting uh, I've been getting dribs and drabs of them over the past couple of weeks, uh, but I haven't done a thrift haul on handbags for a long, long time. It's just that they've been selling, as soon as I get them in and they're in the shop, they, they're off the shelves in a way. They're sold before I can even film them. <laughs> so that's why I like doing a haul as soon as, I like doing a filming haul, as soon as I buy them and bring them into the, into the apartment, I like to get down and dirty, as they would say, to filming them. So, anyway, that's a nice black handbag, as you can see. Good feel it as well. Nice, nice material. I think it's uh, leather. Next one. Now, this is a favourite colour for the ladies. Same as my jacket, red. For some reason, the ladies go for red a lot. But that's another nice stylish handbag, ladies fashion bag. So that's, uh, I think that's up in eBay at the moment, so is the black one. In fact, I think most of these bags are up. Because they sell that quick, they get them up straight away, you know what I mean? They're a nice, uh, this is a, a Nathalie Anderson. And it's a nice brown leather bag. So that one's up for sale as well. I'm going through these quick because I've got a few things to show you. As it says, red. This is what makes that. Next. Next, <laughs> as I say. So that one's another red next bag. That'll go because there's a few there's a few ladies looking at this at, at the moment, so that's probably gonna go within the next day or two. Last one I've got for the haul for you, just to show you what I've got. Nathalie Anderson again. And this is a kind of reddish, kind of movie bag. Nice, stylish handbag as normal. This is great because you just get to see what I have for sale and I get to get the PR for it to sell it, you know what I mean? So it's a winning all round. Then I'm a drink to my mango juice. Excuse me for that, but it's thirsty work. There's one thing that's lacking in my shop at the moment is uh, gentlemen's clothes, the menswear. So what I'm going to be doing probably in the next couple of weeks is to try and gather because I have got I've got a whole load of stock of menswear, especially stuff that I have bought and I've only worn them maybe once or twice. And as you can see, I put the weight on, so they no longer fit. So somebody's going to get a real bargain, brand new stock. So I'll be, uh, I'll be listing these very, very soon. I need to because they're no use to me now, and I'm, I don't, I can't see me <laughs> going down a couple of sizes uh, in the next few months. So I'd be real getting short of them letting somebody get the good use of them. And you, you know yourself, it's, it's all great names and makes, all great stuff. So I may as well let somebody get the use of them, get the cash and go and buy <laughs> bigger, bigger uh, sized items for myself. Uh, <laughs> no one likes to admit it, but middle-aged spread is what it's called. Now you've probably seen in the previous vlog, the tractor that I had uh, filmed for my other channel, 
uh, toys and cool stuff. I think that's. I think I've, I've got the name right this time. The, the toys and cool stuff channel. It's in a link below as well. But anyway, that's the tractor that I filmed for that channel, and it was an unboxing video. So that one's going up on my eBay shop as well. It's probably up, up by now as well. That one's up for I think nine ninety nine for that. So if you're just looking for a tractor <laughs> on that same theme, the, re the reason the next few things I'm going to show you, the reason I've got them is as I said to you in a previous vlog, I'm stocking up now for the Christmas sales. I know you think it's bloody only summer just now, <laughs> but the thing is. This is the time of year for all eBayers to get in their Christmas stock. Now there's a lot of this stock will sell uh, before Christmas, but I'm going to keep the momentum up and keep buying and keep buying it. I mean, if it's there to buy, I'm going to buy it. And I, and I need the stock, as I says, I need to build it up. Now this is a jigsaw puzzle of The Simpsons Christmas. A snowy Christmas it's called, look at that. Isn't that lovely? I like The Simpsons, <laughs> but that's a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, I think that's up for three ninety nine. Like I've got it up for three ninety nine. I've got that one. I think. No board games. I don't usually do a lot of board games, but this was this is like uh, brand new, so I picked this up. This is the Twilight Saga. It's a seen it and. If you go to my shop, you'll see it inside, because I've got pictures of it inside. It's probably like brand new, it's never been hardly used, so that's the first board game. Seen it, and there's another seen it here. This is from Glee. Probably another TV show. I know I've heard of that, the Twilight Saga, I've never seen any of the shows like that. Glee, I think that's a musical show, isn't it? So that's another one, seen it. Another one that's practically brand new, never used. I think I've got these up for 79 each, which is not a, not a bad price, as I know that some of them go for £15, you know what I mean, but they're just like new. Now, what's next? Uh, oh, a pair of, I'm, com I'm coming to the end now. I've got that much stuff. I mean, I had I had even more stuff been there, but I'm looking at the time there, so it's just got to watch the time. Now, a nice pair of ladies' fashion shoes from Jai Reni. So this must be a French make. But it's a nice box, as you can see, and you can see the labels. The old labels. I think they've got the the old price here as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's the price there. Eh? Forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine for a pair of ladies' shoes. So there must be a good mate, Jai Reni, a French mate. But they're like new, as you can see. I'll take one out and let you see it. Still on the back. <laughs> I think they have though been worn maybe once or twice because the heel has got a mark on it there. As you can see, they're like brand new. It's like a snake skin look to it. But they're good, they're in good condition. So I picked these up. I picked these up for. I think I picked them up for a fiver. Yeah. So they're selling at 9 99 on my shop. Bargain, you know what I mean? So that's the lady's shoe. I used to sell ladies shoes a long time ago and they are sold, you know what I mean? But I make sure that they're, they're well looked after and they're, they're a good make. Uh, other, th other than that, I just leave them alone, you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't entertain them. So, I think, did I show you this? So, we'll check. These sell great. Handle that folds down. You could put, you can just pitch all the sandwiches on there all lined up. Cucumber sandwiches. Or little cake fancies, you know what I mean? So that's the last item I'm going to show you today. <laughs> I think that's uh, a good haul for you to have a look at. And I hope you've enjoyed it just as much as I've enjoyed uh, 
doing it. I always enjoy doing hauls, whether it's painting my paintings, uh, ladies' handbags, fashion, uh, silver plate treasures, you know what I mean? I love it. I think I've got maybe about, coming up to 400 items on my eBay shop, so you go on there and you'll, you'll, you'll have a good day. 10-15 minutes look, looking through them, or m maybe longer, but there's, there's always something there that you will fancy. And as I said to you before, I liken myself to a personal shopper. Anything I buy is going to be practically in the new side or just about new. You know what I mean? I'm not going to buy a, a load of junk, so I like to, I mean, if I buy it, it's stuff that I would like for myself and condition-wise for myself. So, I mean, if there's even a, if there's a, a few blemishes and whatever on it, I normally just bypass it. If it's not it's good enough for me, then it's not good enough for my customers. So, I always look on myself as a personal shopper for my customers. I don't know, but this setting seems to be all right. No, I mean, I mean, I've got the dummy there to show you some of the menswear stuff that I'm going to be uh, probably selling soon, like. But I probably will eventually need to set up a permanent uh, backdrop and whatever uh, studio setting. But that said, looks okay, doesn't it? Yeah, as I was saying, guys. I'm going to be on the next uh, few days out on another uh, hunt, out on another thrifting haul for treasures <laughs> for my eBay shop and for you to have a look at and for you to purchase if you fancy any of them. So I know for a fact there's a few shops, I've got a few things that I've seen the last time that I couldn't pick up for various reasons. Uh, so I'm hoping they're still going to be there. and. And I'm hoping I can purchase them for my shop. So I'm going to be, as I says, out. I'm going to be busy the next few days, which I'm going to love because it gets me out, gets me exercise, gets me out meeting uh, you guys and uh, picking up a few bargains. So let's see what we can get on the next haul. Right, guys, as I says to you, I enjoyed doing this uh, thrifting haul for you and I, I like showing you what I've got for my shop, a good variety of things uh, and as you can see it's all good stuff so as I says I hadn't done a haul for a while so <laughs> I know I've done painting hauls but I haven't done a, a treasure hunt haul for a while so I hope you've enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed making it and I hope to be doing more soon. And until the next time, I'll say bye bye. Remember, the description box below if you fancy anything. <laughs> That's the reason I do these vlogs. You know what I mean? One of the reasons, anyway. Who doesn't like PR? <laughs>